Hello, here is Ethan. This is Dino Thunder Blue. He looks really cool. Let's have a look at him and see what we've got. First of all, we have this lovely win, uh, this window display here. We've got this lovely illustration of Ethan, and then we've got his face. We've also got his uh, figure. We've got his um, blade, his gun, and then we've got different hands as well as his special effect. So if you like this sort of content and you want to see more, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Uh, it's, uh, if you like this sort of content and you want to see more, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, as well as that cheeky notification bell to be notified when more videos drop. And let's just jump straight into it. Here is Ethan and everything. I love the Tricera shield. I absolutely love it. It work, It looks perfect to me. Um, I love what you get in this one. I think this could possibly be one of my favorite rangers, but let's just have a look in. And here's Ethan. And I've got to admit, this is a really nice figure for what it is. I like the color design. I really do. And I love the Dino Thunder series. I think this is maybe one of the better figures that we've had from in this wave because I'm generally not impressed with the wave that we've had so far. Um, so literally the only things that paint wise that I've known that annoys me is one is his uh, head here. There's a tiny bit of paint missing there. Uh, that it will irritate me but I'm just going to paint over it with a silver sharpie. Um, and then literally this is annoying but you kind of think because there's only basic colors black blue silver gold black uh white blue you kind of think that they could have painted them off for a little bit to actually kind of make it stand out but you know i'm glad it's white so it kind of matches the arm if it didn't it would annoy me uh and then obviously even the pegs like that doesn't bother me but you know you can paint that white if you've got a white pen and then i think the only other thing is the fact that you have to move this if you want it perfectly like i would if it was me I would have made this bit bigger so it links up with here so that it's touching so you could move it it just looks a bit kind of weird in my sort of eye like i don't know if it is for you guys but like if you want it perfectly you'd have to match it up the rest of it is fine the spats i would have loved if they painted white it just would have gone well with this figure and it would have easily done if you're going to do the arms and stuff do the do the hands you know it, i just think it's sloppy lazy that no one's done it this way but looking at how it kind of bends, I think I, I like the way this all is because it feels like it's not going to snap. And considering from the other ones as well, you know, it's it's different. It feels like an actual toy. Like you can't bend them all the way back. Um, you know, you have some limitations, but you can move them. And he does kind of click. So I thought that, you know, considering the rest that can do it, you know, he would easily like count up being able to move up but you know arms go up and down twists around just like so just like so you know his arms do bend it's a bit kind of stiff to do but you can bend them if need be so it's kind of cool for the way it is and the butter fly joints are cool now this one moves perfectly like unlike adam where his it would, it would just go in like that. That would annoy me. But you know, I'm glad they've actually paid attention to this one. And you can turn the head around, move it up and down. So yeah, it looks really cool. I generally really like it. It's one of the better ones in this wave and the rest weren't that great. Let's look at the accessories. First of all, you get the blaster. If you know the name, I can't think of it off the top of my head. Let me know down below in the comments. So you've got the kind of the details all there that really works well. I like the red. I wish. It was kind of painted a little bit more, especially like the symbol there. I think that looks good. But knowing how paint flakes off on this or rubs off, I can understand why it's not on here. The only thing is like it's not sanded properly at the top, but I'm not bothered. You're not really going to see it because this will just stay in the box. Um, but the details al uh, like alone are really cool. Then you have the sword. The sword is exactly the same. Again, if you know, let me know in the comments. Um, you know, just literally there. It looks spot on. I like the fact that they, they've taken their time and it's just not just one like color, like no detail, at least in the weapon. Then we've got the hands, which look again okay. I just really wish they painted the spats. That's the only thing that I think works perfectly on these. And then the, oh, oh we've got this. <laughs> we've got the lovely effect, which again, I won't use. But this here, is literally the the best thing about this figure it looks perfect 
It looks nice, it looks detailed. I really like it a lot. And one of the best things is you've got the kind of horn. So when you do this, it pops up. And this here is what I think really makes it. Uh, like I generally thought we wouldn't get it or it would literally you'd either be like that, like this, damn, like that, or you know it would just be out completely. But I really like that they've put this in. It really makes the weapon pop and it really works perfectly. So I just, I just love it. You know, perfect for the actual character and what you're getting. Let's look at the head that you get. Now this is one thing, with all the figures, something's gone wrong where you take the head or it comes off the body. And I don't like that. I'm, I'm waiting for something to go wrong and nothing has. Nothing has gone wrong so far. Now, does it look like Ethan to me? I don't know. Like it kind of does from that sort of angle. I do like it. It really, like I think there's only a few heads that I really like on these figures that I would take the helmet off or whatnot. But damn, he looks so cool. Just the texture, just everything about it. It does look, yeah, it does look like Ethan to me. So I think that's kind of really kind of awesome. Um, it gives the character a lot more life, which I generally kind of think is great. Like it, it works so well. Yeah, I, I, I'm a big fan of this. And there we go. There is Dino Thunder Blue or Ethan. And I've got to admit, this is a really nice figure out of this entire wave. This is the best one that we've seen so far. I reviewed. I really love the fact that it, it stands out. His character is perfect. I just really like this figure. This is one of my favorites from this wave. The only thing I will say that I'm not a big fan is that the shield, if you apply it such and such, it will kind of topple over. So you have to kind of get it just right balancing wise. But so far, I love everything that comes with him. I love the fact that Dino Thunder has almost been completed. As much as I'm not a huge Tommy fan, I'm looking forward to getting Dino Thunder Black. And if they did Dino mode of these figures, I would literally rebuy them because I love the fact that if they go that way, it would look perfect. So I'm hoping that they do do um, <laughs> that they do uh, the Super Dino mode because I think that it would be absolutely kind of perfect for the way it is. So for me, I really like this figure. Um, I think this is out of the entire wave. If you're just going to get one figure, this would be the one that I would highly recommend. But I am going to leave it there. What are your thoughts on this? Have you got um, this figure? You know, have you got Ethan? Would you collect it? What do you think of the wave so far? And yeah, I'm gonna leave it there. What do you think about this? Let me know down below in the comments. And if you like this sort of video and you wanna see more, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, as well as the cheeky notification bell to be notified when more videos drop. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. チャンネル登録、高評価、お願いします。